Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Unacademy Elite English channel. I hope all of you are doing amazing, all of you are doing great. So my dear students, in this particular session, as you know, right, I keep on coming up with all these small, small, short duration sessions wherein you get short, short questions. So again, in this particular session, I'm going to give you 20 marks, short, short, my dear students, right, when it comes to your NEET examination. The first concept which I'm going to discuss here, that is about heat and work. Just remember four things. Whenever heat is absorbed by the system, Q value is taken as positive. Whenever heat is released by the system, Q value is taken as negative. Whenever there is expansion, we always say work is done by the system, W value is taken as negative. Whenever there is compression, we always say work is done on the system, W value is taken as positive in chemistry. In chemistry. From these sign conventions, you get a particular type of question. Let's have a look on the question which you get from the sign conventions of Q and W. My dear students, look at these three reactions. All these three reactions are carried out at STP, right? That means all these three reactions are carried out by keeping pressure and temperature constant, number one. If you look at the first process, we have to say during this particular process, whether W is negative or positive. Check it out. First thing, as you all must be knowing, your PV is equal to NRT and over here pressure and temperature is constant, R value is already constant, so I can say volume is directly proportional to moles, right? Volume is directly proportional to moles. So if moles are increasing, volume will be increasing. If moles are decreasing, volume will be decreasing, right? Now guys, have a look. On the reactant side, if you see how many gaseous moles do we have? 7 plus 4, that is 11, right? On the product side, how many gaseous moles do we have? 6 plus 4, that is 10. So when this process is happening, are the gaseous moles increasing or decreasing? Gaseous moles are decreasing, right? Gaseous moles are decreasing. So N is decreasing. If N is decreasing, therefore volume should decrease. Decrease in the volume of the system is what you call as compression. Whenever there is compression, work is done on the system. W value is taken as positive. So in the first case, the value of W is positive. Number one. Number two. On the reactant side, you have got gases. On the product side, you have got liquid. So gases are getting converted into liquid. Gases are far. Liquid molecules are complete, comparatively close. So when gases are getting converted into liquid, that means molecules are coming closer. Right? Distance is decreasing. Right? Distance is decreasing. And what do we call it as? Compression. Whenever there is compression, work is done on the system. The value of W again is taken as positive. So W is positive in this case. Right? This is your homework question. Let me know in the chats what will be the sign of W, whether it's positive or negative. Solid into gas. Right? This was concept number one. Concept number two, which is frequently asked and expect one question from this particular chart as well. My dear students, all of you would have come across extensive and intensive properties. You know, extensive properties are the ones which actually depend upon the size of the system, the amount of substance present in the system. Right? Those properties of the system whose value change on changing the size of the system or amount of substance present in the system. Those are what you call as extensive. Otherwise, it's going to be intensive. My dear students, you just have to remember these examples of extensive and intensive properties directly, right? These are directly asked. Which of the following are extensive? Which of the following are intensive? Directly, these are asked. Perfect. Two more things I would want to add up over here. Remember, Extensive properties are additive in nature. You can add or subtract extensive properties directly. These are non-additive in nature. These are non-additive in nature. Number one. Number two, when you divide two extensive properties, when you divide two extensive properties, then new property that comes into play, that will be always intensive. If this is extensive, this is extensive, so the division of these two will become intensive. And remember, whenever an extensive property is expressed either per unit mass, per unit mole or per unit volume. The new property that comes into play, that becomes intensive, right? Remember these points about extensive, intensive, anything can be asked and will be asked for sure, right? This was concept number two. Concept number three, calculation of series limit. What is series limit? Series limit means shortest wavelength. Shortest wavelength emitted or absorbed, right? This is the formula by means of which we can calculate the wavelength of the photon, the wavelength of the radiation, which is emitted or absorbed. Now, what is meant by series limit? Series limit means shortest wavelength. For example, for example, there will be a question asked to you. Calculate the series limit in Lyman. 
Series limit in Lyman means shortest wavelength. Shortest wavelength in Lyman. We have to calculate shortest wavelength in Lyman. In case of Lyman series, you know, electron makes a transition from higher energy state to shell number one. So ground state of Lyman is one. Ground state of Lyman is one. Now, what do we have to calculate? Shortest wavelength. For the wavelength to be shortest, energy gap has to be maximum. Now, in case of Lyman series, in case of Lyman series, energy gap, we have to consider the maximum energy gap. Maximum energy gap is when the electron makes a transition from infinity to one. As simple as that, right? This is your lower energy state and this is your high energy state. Now you can use the Rydberg's formula and get the wavelength emitted, the shortest wavelength. So I'll use this formula. One divided by lambda minimum is equal to R. Z for hydrogen is one. For example, I'm talking about hydrogen. One upon N1 square minus one upon N2 square. One upon infinity is zero only, right? So this becomes simply one divided by lambda minimum is equal to R or I can say lambda minimum is equal to one by R. And do remember, the value of 1 bar directly as 911.5 angstroms. So this is the shortest wavelength in case, of, in case of Lyman series. Similarly, they can ask you the series limit of Bal Balmer. Or series limit of Balmer, right? In Balmer, the ground state is n is equal to 2, right? Calculate the shortest wavelength in Balmer. Let me know the answer of this particular question in the chats, in the comments, I mean. Lambda minimum in Balmer, in Balmer. So lambda has to be minimum, energy gap has to be maximum. And in case of Balmer, the maximum energy gap you already know, right? From infinity to 2. From infinity to 2. Now put this condition here and get the lambda minimum in case of Balmer. As simple as that. Again, one short, short question which will be asked in your examination. Now, this is again one chart from which you can expect definitely a question. One or two questions from this particular chart. Ideal solutions. Non-ideal solutions showing positive deviation. Non-ideal solutions showing negative deviation. Ideal solutions are the ones in which the observed, the actual vapor pressure comes out to be same as that of what you would have calculated as per Rolle's law. Delta H mixing is zero. Delta V mixing is zero. Delta S mixing is greater than zero. Delta G mixing is less than zero. And these are the examples of ideal solutions. Anything can be asked out of these things. Similarly, non-ideal solutions showing positive deviation are the ones where in the actual vapor pressure of the solution will be greater than as what you would have expected from the Rolle's law. Right? Delta H mixing greater than zero, this greater than zero, this greater than zero, this greater than zero. And do remember this can be asked as well. Right? This can be asked as well. Non-ideal solutions showing positive deviation, they form minimum boiling azeotropes and these are its examples. Ethanol plus acetone, carbon disel, disulfide plus acetone, acetone plus benzene. Right? Same goes for all these as well. This, these are non-ideal solutions showing negative deviation. My dear students, from this particular chart, again, you are going to get the equation. Perfect. So this was a very short and precise session wherein I got, I told you the four concepts, which will definitely give you four marks. Sorry, four questions, which means your 16 marks are confirmed if you follow this particular chart properly. If you follow all these concepts properly, right? And one more thing, which I have been telling you, uh, all those students who are going to move from class 10 to 11th or 11th to 12th, or all those students who have already made their mind of taking a drop. My dear students, we are an Academy Need English team. We, me, Yavar Sir, HSP Sir, Ambi Kamam, we are starting new batches from 17th of April on an Academy platform. And all those batches are exactly only at the rate of 4999. And this offer is only valid till, this offer is only valid till 14th of April. The batch starting date is what? The batch starting date is 17th of April. So on 17th of April, we are starting three batches. One for 10th moving to 11th, one for uh, 11th moving to 12th and one for all those students who have already made their mind of taking a drop. Perfect. There's a link in the description box of the video. Click on that link, right? Get enrolled right now in, in the batch. You just have to click on the link. Over there, you, you'll have to click on plus, right? Put your number, get the OTP, get the plus subscription. And once the batch starts on 17th, right? You can automatically join into that particular batch. Perfect. So this was a quick announcement also for all of you. So the ones, the ones who want the quality education at the minimal cost, this is for all of you. Perfect. And guys, the price is going to hike up after five days, after 14th. So after 14th, you are not going to get it at 4 triple nine. You'll get it at minimum 15,000, right? So get enrolled as soon as possible. So take care. God bless you all and love you all. Bye-bye.